Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am out today at an estate sale. I am so excited for this. I have not been out in so long. So this is a private estate sale and there is only one person allowed in at a time. Nobody else is here actually. She scheduled me for 10 a.m. So I have my mask. That was a, a thing that she wanted me to have. So I have my N95. Luckily I had one of those in the basement from wood projects that we've done and then she'll be wearing a, a mask so it'll be a private estate sale basically i'm really excited to get in there and i have no idea what's in there i have i've seen no pictures there we go and i, I think you can hear me still <laughs> all right oh my gosh don't we wish all estate sales were like this i'm all alone <laughs> this is sort of a dream so we're looking for treasures that has chips on it this is a little Hallmark plate, me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is a bowl, it's pretty heavy. 1987. That'd be crazy to ship, but that's really pretty. Hmm, oh look. That's McKee. It's nice. I don't see any prices. I'm gonna have to ask her about that. Okay, so there's no prices yet, so I'll just have to put them in a pile, and then we'll figure it out. It's jadeite. Hmm. It's kind of hard if I don't know the prices. One shaker. I'd pay like, what would I pay? Like $3. This is cool, but it has to be the right price. What are these? They look like they look like longer burger. They are homegrown. <laughs> that's longer burger. That's longer burger, and that's false graph. Oh, little tiny shoes. Beanie Babies, Biscotti, Cookbooks. Okay, here's the front room. So she's currently in the basement organizing, so this mask is very hot. Nobody's up here at all, so whenever I get closer to her, we'll put, we'll put her masks on. What is this little doll doing? That's cute. Opal, $12. Huh. Like a little mug. It's newer, but that's. Hmm. That's kind of unique, you know? And now that I have eBay, I can sell stuff that's a little bit newer. Um, well, that's a crooked picture. <laughs> oh, what do we got going up here? Oh, her arm is, her hand is broken. That's that willow, what is it, willow tree? or Yeah, willow tree. There we go, willow tree. There's some Inesco figurines right over there. Oh, don't want to forget my little lady. go in here next. I'm not really a fan of electronic things. Those sell for people on eBay like, well that's kind of an old radio thing, isn't it? Cassette player, recorder, all that. Hmm, there's like a little red spoon. It's kind of cute, huh? A leaf on it. Red spoon. Not sure what this is. Oh, and it comes with a little plate underneath it. That's cute. I'm scared to know what the prices are, though. Isn't that kind of cute? So it's like a little jam. 
barber wear. Hmm. I should probably add it to my pile. Look at this cute little frog. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a candle. It's adorable. I think I might want that. Let me look at this. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how old it is. Huh. It's just kind of cute regardless, isn't it? And if you take the candle out, you have like a little trinket box. Here's a little crisscross refrigerator dish by Hazel Atlas. Okay, I don't really see a lot on this table. I really don't. It's a cool fireplace. Here we have a couple cow parade figurines by Inesco. I think they're Inesco. No, actually there are Westland, Westland giftware. But these are very collectible. Um, they sell for about, yeah, they're under $20. They're about 12 to $15 each. Dorothy here, her horns are broken, so that's a no-go. And this one here, yeah, it's about, you know, 12 to $15. And I'm just not that interested in it, to be honest. But down here, what else do we have? What is this? That's also Westland. Huh. Ooh. Little cardinal. This is marked FF. That's Fitz and Floyd, I believe. I didn't know they did resin. I'm trying to get that to focus. There we go. That does look like their logo. Huh. That's kind of cute. I think it's resin. I don't think... Oh, maybe it's glass. That's really pretty. We've got like a little farm happening. Turtle? I don't know if I showed this turtle. Turtle, frog, cardinal, little lady. Let's see. Let's see what else there is. There's lots of teapots. These are some pretty good booth items, but they're so large. Hmm. Okay. Then we have a little box. That's made in China, but it has moriage and enameling on it. Okay. Let's look over here. I see these shelves. There's another refrigerator dish. Uh, it's a longer burger. Oh, it's all dyed up in the bottom. No, I don't see much over here. That's pretty gold. Huh. Stainless, what did that say? Roberts. Roberts Stainless Japan. Oh, Stanley. Stanley. Stanley Roberts Stainless. Hmm. I have to look that up. Stanley Roberts. I don't think I'm going to get those. They don't seem like they do very well. Oh my gosh, all the animals. We're in one of the bedrooms right now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, a lot of little, um, it's Gans, made in China. A lot of little animal things here. Huh. That's a Florida leaf bookend set. 
Bookends are sort of hard to sell because people don't really have a lot of books. I mean, they do sell every now and again, certain kinds, but it's not something that I get, you know, really excited about. Okay, lots and lots of books. Oops. I don't see much going on in this room. Well, I didn't really look down here, did I? What do we have? Fitbit. Um, what is this stuff? Yeah. And then lots of office supplies that I don't really need. Look at all this good paper to write on. I don't really need that either. Okay, let's go to the next room. The bathroom. not seen a lot which is a little unfortunate because I do have all this time to get stuff today I'm not into clothes or purses or bags although I could probably spot some cool ones like that turquoise is really fun but it is peeling right along here imitation leather that one's kind of fun too isn't it I'm just showing these off I'm not gonna get any this is like a nice beach bag by Lily Pulitzer for Estee Lauder. That's makeup. Huh. This is a nice turquoise bag too. This one might actually be leather. Huh. It's priced at $3. You know, I think that's probably from a yard sale. Here, I'm just, let's see what it says. Kato, Kato. I think that's a women's brand. Yeah, okay, well, we had fun at least. <laughs> wow, this is like a whole closet in here. I just realized it's like a closet room. Very neat. Yeah, somebody's gonna go wild in here, I bet. Maybe find some cool stuff. Oh my gosh. What? This is all clothes in here too. Nuts. So there's a basement to go through and a garage. So that should be pretty good. We've got like a little men's jewelry box here. Uh, the hinge is broken, so we cannot do that. Nice little hourglass. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. That's a nice mattress for sold. Okay. Let's go look. We're going to look in the garage next and then we'll go to the basement. Let's go through this way though. Yeah, we walked in there, but we did not really take a look in here. Okay. Ooh, that's what I'm interested in. Little doodads. Let's see what these are. There's no marking on it. That's hard. Napco. Hmm. Napco. Very interesting. Beatles. Very cool. Magic Mystery Tour. I bet that's collectible. Poster art. It's all like collectible stuff though. It's not even originals. This is really cool. That's older from the 70s probably. This is like a collectible album art thing. Okay, here we are in the garage. 
I usually don't find much in the garage because I'm not really into this kind of stuff. But every now and again, we find some things. I wonder if those are hers or like I could use those. Do I have a wet jet? I just have a regular one you push around. I don't know. I think that's for the specialty ones. Shoes, $5 each. That's a really good price, I bet, for some of these. And I have no desire to even get them. Plastic cookie cutters. I like cookie cutters, but they're kind of like one of those things I pick up if it's cheap enough for my booth. So I don't know if I want to get them now. The glasses are a dollar each, a dollar each. Hmm. Utensils are a dollar each. And with not having my antique booth open, it's kind of hard to buy anything for that place right now. Because this is going to end up sitting around the house. All oh, those birds are so pretty. Here's another longer burger. This one is from 1992. I wish things were priced. I hate building a pile and not knowing the price. There was a lawn thing out here I saw. It'd be kind of cool to have for a house, that little spinning thing. What else do they have? Yeah, that little spinning thing is kind of cool. Eh, I mean, it's cheap, kind of, isn't it? It's made to look a little bit older than it is. The hummingbird spinner? That stuff's probably from Big Lots. I don't need all that. Oh, look at this. They have metal bird things that are cut. Those are nice. And a Texas star. I guess that's what they're called, right? The red stars like that. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Take a look. Look. What a peaceful little area. Yeah, those birds. These little collapsible yardstick things do pretty well for me in the booth. This one's made of wood, so it's definitely older and very cool. It was near this dollar box. I don't know what the price is, though. It'd be lovely to pay a dollar. And they sell for about eight to ten dollars for me, usually. Hmm. Ooh, look at all the Reynolds wrap. Ooh. Spices. Wow, that's a good deal. You can get lots of spices. I decided to take a look at the mugs. Illinois, you are here mug. Those are usually pretty collectible. I'm gonna look at the rest of these. Okay, I got a few of the Starbucks mugs, but a lot of these I'm just not sure. Cafe Estima blend. Maybe I should look that one up because I did get the Guatemala one. It seems like the ones from like overseas do really well. This one here I think sold for like $15. I better look that one up. Cafe Estima Blend. But I just don't see any others that are like catching my eye. These are just like blue and red. I doubt that those are worth much. Little things. Yeah. Hmm. I hope I'm not make, missing any. Alright, down to the basement. That's cool. Huh. It's a little game board, I guess. Tommy. Wow. Sex pistols. Okay. Well, here we have Pyrex and the friendship pattern. I don't want to carry those up. I better ask her how much she wants for them. Those are a good booth item. Lots and lots of purses. Afghans. Yeah, I don't want any Afghans right now. That's a cool plastic bank for a money meter, money made thing. Wow. Someone that loves this stuff going to have a heyday, I bet. Christmas. 
Oh, they've got vintage everything. No, they don't. It's all mostly new. But they've got all the different holidays. Christmas over here. This all looks newer to me, so I'm going to kind of breeze through it. I've sold that before. Smaller. It was like a smaller set. Unfortunately, all their, all their decorations are newer. Darn. Wrapping paper. Oh, well, it's a little bit of a letdown of a basement. All of this is newer. Huh. That's kind of strange. Not used to seeing a whole bunch of new stuff everywhere. VHS is... You know, it's a lot of work to put one of these together. Look at all the Beanie Babies. Some of those are worth money if they have their hang tags and all this. And, uh, but not many. The majority are not worth much because everybody collected them. So I honestly, I don't even bother myself with it. Okay. Huh. Well, that's a little unfortunate. I'll ask about the friendship. Now, what would I pay, or what would I um, sell these for? Um, 10, 20, 30. Oh, the color's kind of weird. Do I even want to bother? I could probably sell them for about 30, maybe 40, realistically, in the booth. So I'd want to pay less, I would want to pay about 15 for them, and I don't know if she's going to do that. Okay, I think this is all I'm going to get. I need to figure out the price still, but... I mean, that's all I could find, unfortunately. Oh, look at these little snack trays. I've never seen those before. They're of apple blossoms or something, right? Hmm. Huh. I will look those up, because that is something I have never seen before. The, I don't know if those are the right mugs. Yes, they are. Oh, these are. Whoops, these look like federal. They're not marked. Those are different looking too. Huh. These generally don't do well, the snack tray sets, because people aren't doing that sort of thing. So maybe I won't even bother looking them up. But people craft with them, they reclaim them, they make like bird feeders and all that kind of stuff with them. There's some Fire King. They're not really worth a whole lot. These are Linux, it looks like. Oh, no, they are Nortaki. They look a lot like Linux, don't they? The quality is finer. I mean, it's um, not as chunky as Linux. Okay, I know I'm really just... <laughs> These are the Beanie Babies. I just, I decided to buy them. I'm a nut, so I know. $20 for all of them. And then I paid a dollar for this Bop It, because I love that game. I, maybe there's a market for it, but I'm gonna have fun with it. Oh, $10 for all of those. So I did it. But I'll have fun going through these. At the very least, I think. I believe they sell for 50 cents. 50 cents each, at the very least, in the antique mall. And who knows, some of them might be kind of collectible by themselves. Or I could put them up online. And I might want to hang on to a few. But, I mean, I did grow up with these. Oof! I'm out of breath. And my nose is red from that mask. <laughs> okay, so I cannot believe it, but I did buy all those beanie babies back. Oh, there they are. Yeah, everything's in that tub. Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? Well, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But I will wrap up this video for now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.